What's up, everybody? This is Tim from LiveCaseBreak.com. We've got uh, Joe R. with two boxes of the new Ultimate Tennis. This stuff is supposed to be really hot. Only 180 cases or something like that crazy created. So he's got two. He's going to have me rip them for him now. Five and 12. So we have one on display. we got two, three, four, five... And bottom, 12. Anybody else wants some? They are in the store. What's up, Lizzie? How are you? Opens. Uh, opens, opens. Okay, let me find my knife here. Duke's about to lose. Clemson. I called this last week. Wow, big three. All right, Joe R., good luck, man. Leaf Ultimate Tennis, brand new stuff. We only got ten boxes left. They're in the store if anyone wants them. Kind of ugly packaging. My high school is green and gold. My Colleges were green and gold, but this is a matte green. Well, it's got little designs there, I guess. Little designs that spice it up a little bit. Interesting colors. Ooh, thick cards. Yeah, like a tennis court. It's just uh, a weird looking, man. A weird. Hey, it's just me. Sebastian Grosjean. First auto. World class signatures. Looks like bronze, unnumbered. Sebastian Grosjean. John Austin, Ultimate Leaf Tennis. John Austin. Let me get that to uh, focus here. Lower the cam just a little bit. I love green and gold. Like I said, my uh, my college, my high school, grew up with green and gold. John Austin. Hall of Famer, perhaps? Elena Vizina. And I think your next two are numbered. So the bronze or copper, whatever you want to call these, are not numbered. Duke making a run here. I'm a big Duke fan, guys. You have to deal with my watching the game for the next couple minutes. I'll try to get that to focus for you, Joe. There you go. Lena Vecina. Next up is Jerry Janowitz. And it may not be Jerry because it's got a Z in there. That is gold. Is it numbered? 7 out of 10. Boy. Big serial numbers on this. Big serial numbers. <laughs> Those are for, uh, for the... <laughs> for the blind, yeah. Uh, Janowitz ranked number 66th in the world. And this last guy. A bit of a chase card, I do believe. I have never pulled one of his autographs. Got a Federer, man. Nice. Raja. Base. Auto. Everybody knows who's, who's Federer is. Nice hit, man. 17 Grand Slams. Roger Federer. I going to say he was number one. I thought I said he was number one in the back for a minute. So that's the Joker. So Federer. Let's check out box two. Pretty solid box one. I don't know a couple of those names. 
Okay, on the top, we got Badene. Uh, 51st overall right now. I personally don't know. Jazz Badene. When he's the the runner up in Brisbane a few days ago, nice. Are you talking about Fetter? John Isner. Everybody knows who John Isner is. Dude hits the ball like 200 miles an hour. Massive dude. 13th overall right now. Another nice auto. Isner, next auto is Nicole Gibbs. Uh, and that looks like it might be numbered. Silver out of five, Nicole Gibbs. The women tend to sell pretty damn well. Four out of five. Maybe a rainbow. Four out of five, Gibbs. Who won? Uh, who won the tournament down there, Danny? So Nicole Gibbs. Next up is Francois Abanda. Twenty-one out of twenty-five. It's another silver, so the silvers are numbered. Golds are numbered. That Nicole Gibbs actually looks like a rainbow of sorts. Yeah, it's quite a bit different. Maybe platinum. Platinum parallel, I could see that being platinum. So Abenda, let's see. 18 years old. She's a Canadian from Montreal. Doesn't say if she's ranked or not. And you got a relic on the bottom. It is Petra Kvitova. One out of seven. One out of seven. That's pretty sweet. Match worn shirt. Authentic match worn shirt. Yeah, actually, I thought that was one of Tim uh, Yursich's uh, clients, yeah. Yeah, one of our customers, Tim Yursich, is a chiropractor in California, and this is one of his uh, one of his girls that he works with, Gibbs. I thought it was. I wasn't positive. I didn't want to say it without being uh, sure. So, Kvitova, fourth overall in the women's rankings. That's a pretty sweet card. So, I think that and the Fetter, man, good money right there. This stuff looks really nice. So I've got 10 boxes left of this stuff, guys. We only got one case. Only 180, 190 total. There you go, Joe R. Thank you, man. Is she in the Aussie Open qualifying? Nice. And Duke loses to Clemson. Knew it was happening. Knew it. Oh, uh, let's see. This was Joe R. Celebrate away. You beat the eighth, ninth ranked team in the country. I guarantee you they storm the court. Look, I picked this game, and I picked at Florida State for us to lose. I knew we would lose one of them. I didn't uh, I didn't think it'd be this early. But what a run for Clemson. Clemson beat, uh, was it UNC they beat? No, they didn't beat UNC. They beat somebody high ranked. And then they beat uh, Syracuse at home, and now they beat Clemson, uh, or Duke, at Clemson. But at Syracuse, solid, uh solid game. Miami, that's who it was. Yeah, they beat Miami, yep. Three-game stretch for them. Really good three-game stretch. It's all good. This Duke team this year is, uh, they're, they're, they're something else. They're not, uh, they're not a prototypical, uh, Duke team. A boot? A boot, son? What would you like me to talk about? 
No preference? Yeah, back to back teams, okay. Oh, it's Louisville they beat, man. Louisville's the other ranked team they beat, yeah. Seriously, nice stretch for them. Solid, uh, tough team. No, oh, they don't have the fire, man. They just, they're lacking something this year. <laughs> All black guys on this year's team. <laughs> Awful. The Warriors, son? Yeah, Miami did lose again, yeah. I remember seeing that. I just I couldn't remember who it was. Lizzie, got your order for the White Sox. Record this video.